What's going on guys? For today's video, we have an absolutely insanely interesting disc to try out. I uh, randomly found this research study, an article online, where uh, some people in, I believe Finland, I don't remember their names or the, the group, so I'll try and uh, put the resource link down below in the comments, but I found this article that went through computational fluid dynamics and machine learning to try and figure out what the most efficient driver, mid-range, and putter could be in terms of aerodynamics. So they use computer simulations to test this out and create these designs. The computer did all the design work itself. This was the design for the driver. It looks very, very weird. I'll show it off here. It's got this weird dip on the rim. I'll put like a nice side profile of uh, some of the work uh, uh, in there as well. I'll put it in the thumbnail so you can kind of see it better. It almost looks like a mix between like a fairway and a mid, but it kind of in a portion has the width of a driver. So it's super, super weird. I don't expect it to get a ton of distance, but this was the driver that it came up with that said would be the most efficient. So the things that they did to try this out is uh, in the article, it said that this disc should get around 10 to 15% extra lift compared to most drivers now and 10 to 15% reduction in drag. So we're gonna rip it nice and flat here. No idea the stability of it. No idea how far it's gonna go. Okay, we got a little bit of a slip, but okay. I was expecting that to be really neutral, maybe even a little understable, but that flew pretty good. I slipped a little bit, so I don't, I guess I couldn't fully pay attention to what angle I got on that, but I just kind of did a nice slow hyzer. We'll keep testing around. All right, if I remember correctly from the article, I believe the, the computer tests were based off of like 60 to 65 mile per hour throws. I usually average on my full speed shot 65 to 70, so it's actually pretty, pretty close right in there. Uh, Overall, first flight with it was good. I think I'm gonna try and throw a slight ante on it, see how it does there. <laughs> oh wait, I love that. I got a super, super slow, nice drift back, nice little flex shot. This is actually a very unfortunate video to not have my rangefinder working for because it ran out of batteries. I haven't replaced them yet. But uh, we're gonna throw this one, I'll walk back towards the car and I'll grab a nuke, which is usually my furthest flying disc. And we compare the two side by side to see which one gets more distance. I don't think this is setting any distance record, but I'd be curious to see like, if I slowly slow down the speed and throw it slower, slower speeds, less power, is this getting a little bit more effortless distance even though it can't get quite the max distance. So we're gonna throw it one more time here. So I'm gonna try and throw it really hard, try and throw it flat, see what it does, see if it can hold up to a nice flat hard throw. Okay, I got a slight ante on it, but I really like the stability of that though. It kind of gets that like super, super slow drift back, a uh, nice tight like flex shot. That's pretty awesome. Like I said, we'll go grab a nuke. We'll do a distance comp against the two. All right, we got our nuke. We got our uh, computational fluid dynamic efficiency disc. We're gonna rip this one up first. I'm definitely not gonna be setting any distance records right now with the uh, cold slipperiness, extra layers, etc. We're gonna rip this one on a slight ante, give it some height. Then we'll try and throw the nuke the exact same way, go for max distance with both, see how much farther uh, apart they are. I didn't get quite enough height, but I really liked the ante on that one. I got a perfect little flex shot. If I had to guess, that's probably like 375. I mean, it's not getting a ton of distance, but it doesn't feel bad and I like the stability of it. Let's go nuke here. Oh, we burnt her over. That was pretty horrible on the nuke. Uh, too much ante, not enough height, but I still think that went farther. <laughs> All right, that nuke shot was pretty terrible, but it still did end up going 30, 40 feet farther. Uh, not much, uh, wasn't super, super good. We're gonna throw them each one more time, max distance line, see if we can get them both good and then see what the actual distance would be. Okay, I love that one. I definitely had some weird form there, a lot of rounding, but again, good ante, good stability. Could have had a little more ante on it to get a little bit more drift at the end, but let's see if we can get a good nuke shot now. A little less ante on it. This is a flippier nuke, I guess. There we go. It's a little nose up, a little too high, but uh, overall, I think that is way farther. So, uh, the, the computer engineer disc definitely doesn't get 
as much distance, but it doesn't feel bad. And I like the stability of it. Uh, we'll go see what the, dis the distance uh, difference actually is. All right, we're walking up on both our shots now. I think our first shot with this disc was actually better. I bet this one's probably 325, 340. Nothing super, super great. Uh, maybe 375 on the farthest one. It's hard to tell earlier, but this one is considerably farther. I mean, that's got to be an extra 125 feet here. It's a little nose up and uh, could have used a little bit more anti. So if I had to guess, this one was probably 450. So, I mean, yeah, that price sounds about right. Maybe 325 on the on this guy and maybe uh, 450 on this one. So, like I said before, definitely not setting uh, any major... Uh, <laughs> Distance records, I mean, it feels good. I don't know if like efficiency wise, it's hard to tell as a person, unless a robot kept throwing it to see. I, I don't know if like someone with like slower arm speeds or at a different speed, it's gonna get a little bit more distance because it's more efficient technically. But uh, like I said, definitely doesn't get uh, as much distance for a more efficient driver, but it also doesn't really look like a driver. It's like I said before, it's kind of shaped like a mid-range or a fairway, kind of morphed together, but We'll switch over. We're gonna throw some fun shots with it. Let's try some tomahawks, some grenades, upside down shots. Finish her out. All right, first up, let's see how she flies upside down. And like most disc golf discs, super, super overstable. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Okay, not bad. I needed a little more vertical to get it to stand up, but uh. I think I might have hit that flag a little bit too, but uh, didn't roll super, super well, but wasn't horrible. Hey, I kind of like that tomahawk flight. It's a really slow kind of gradual fade. Not bad at all. Okay, nice little flip. Pretty straight, stayed pretty vertical. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun uh, not designing that disc, just printing it. I don't want to take credit for that. That is not my design, not my research. Uh, like I said, I'll post the information to the article uh, down in the comments or uh, in, the, uh, in the description. Overall, really interesting. Had a lot of fun filming the video. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, peace out.